What's going on everyone? I'm back here with another unboxing video. And today I'm going to be unboxing a set of extension tubes uh, for Nikon DSLR cameras. Um, I picked these up off of eBay uh, for about $32 with free shipping. And this is a full set, uh, so it includes three different uh, lengths of the extension tubes. And uh, these also can be used with um, virtually any lens uh, that Nikon makes currently. Uh, because it uses the standard Nikon F mount uh, to mount the lens. But yeah, um, these are actually a pretty inexpensive um, way into getting into macro photography. Um, there are more expensive extension tubes um, that uh, are a little bit more premium quality, uh, more premium materials rather. Uh, but I was just wanting to look for something that could give me macro functionality on my camera without spending an astronomical amount of money. And um, this actually sh should do the trick. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go ahead and take these out and see what we got in here. And see kind of what's included. So here are the extension tubes themselves. And at the very bottom, we just have the kind of instruction little paper. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get this out of the plastic now. So, as you can see straight away, it kind of looks like a, a lens um, itself, uh, but it's definitely not a lens because there's no glass uh, inside. But yeah, you get three different sizes. Uh, you get a 36 millimeter, a 20 millimeter, and a 12 millimeter size. Uh, so you can get different variants of macro functionality. So the larger one would let you focus much closer than the smaller one would. Um, now, you can use these with all three attached, uh, but I wouldn't recommend doing that using autofocus because um, from a test I did, um, it actually made the lens freak out and the autofocus kind of was not working correctly. So I really wouldn't recommend using the three attached at the same time unless you're going to be doing uh, manual focus. Uh, in that case, using manual focus, you can get some really spectacular up close shots uh, using all three of the tubes at once. Um, but taking a quick tour of the actual device itself, so you have these little metal clips right here. These are basically the release clip, uh, so you press that down and you twist it. It releases it from uh, the other extension tubes, um, and that is also how you would release it from the lens if you have a lens attached. So that's pretty cool. So if I release all of them here, you can see it separates into three different pieces. Uh, there's this is the 12, 20, and then 36. Um, and it does include uh, a front and rear lens cap. So if we can take this off, it does come with a lens cap uh, to kind of protect the front portion of the device. You can just screw it back on like so. And then it mounts just like any standard lens. Um, another thing that these particular extension tubes offer uh, is the ability to still be able to autofocus and uh, change the aperture. Uh, on the lens. So as you can see here, it has little metal connectors or contacts uh, that communicate with the camera so you can still use the lens as you normally would if it were mounted directly to the camera. So that is the one thing that makes these um, a really nice alternative to the expensive ones because some of the inexpensive extension tubes don't have uh, connectors um, and would basically mean that the lens would have to be focused and adjusted uh, manually. And another thing, if you happen to have a lens that is not autofocus capable, um, and like an, if you have a non-AFS lens, uh, this still will work with newer DSLRs that use the screw function uh, that uses the little screwdriver focus motor uh, to focus the lens. Uh, this does feature that as well. As you can see, this little screw right there allows you to still focus using those lenses. And on this side, you can see kind of pops out and you have the little screw there on the opposite side as well. Then, but one bummer thing about these particular extension tubes in terms of build quality is the fact that the rear mount is plastic. So we do not unfortunately get a metal mount. But yeah, let's go ahead and mount this onto a camera uh, so we can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. Okay, so I've got my Nikon D5500 here. Now this will work on pretty much every uh, Nikon DSLR, uh, as long as it has the F mount. Uh, so basically you just line up the little arrow, so you see this white arrow, you line that up with the white dot on your camera, 
like so, and you just twist it on, like so, just like a lens, and then there you go. The extension tube is now attached, and then you just would grab your lens that you want to use. In this case, I'm going to be using an 18 to 140 millimeter uh, kit lens, and you line that up with a little white square on the extension tube, and then you twist it, like so, and then there you go. So the extension tube is now attached. Um, and then basically from here, you're immediately ready to go and can start taking pictures. So if I turn it on, and let's go to live view. <clears throat> let's put the cap over here in front so we can kind of give a demonstration of how close you can get. So let's see if we can autofocus on that. And yeah, there you go. So the autofocus works perfectly. As you can see, we can get really, really close up to this lens cap right here. And you can see it is really, really sharp, and you can see a lot of different details on it. And then we can go take a picture, and then play that back, and you can see there is the lens cap right there. So it lets you focus insanely close to your subjects. Um, it's really quite impressive. I will definitely provide a link in the description below if you guys want to check these out yourselves. Um, it is definitely a worthwhile purchase. And I also, uh, at the end of the video, I'm going to provide some sample images uh, using all three of the extension tubes so you guys can get an idea of the type of magnification effect that you're going to get using these, uh, using this device. So, yeah, that's basically it for this particular video. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, hit that thumbs up button as well. That's also much appreciated. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or need help in any way, uh, drop a comment below, and I will get back to them as soon as I can. Uh, so yeah, with that all being said, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.